नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग नमस्ते शमला दीदी नमस्ते ऑल वेलकम टू द मॉर्निंग सेशन जी नमस्ते सुनील जी सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम सो वी आर डूइंग यूएचवी थ्री एंड वी वर डूइंग लेक्चर टू एंड एट द एंड ऑफ लेक्चर टू देर आर सम पॉइंट्स फॉर सेल्फ रिफ्लेक्शन इन लेक्चर टू वी आर ट्राइंग टू सी फॉर आर रेडीनेस फॉर यूएचवी थ्री व्हाट वी लर्न फ्रॉम the previous yoga we workshop that we attended if it has made a difference in our life and to look at what to expect from uhv3 this is what we were doing so yesterday we had given these points for self reflection um perhaps you can answer in the chat how many of you were able to attempt this self reflection for yourself yes or no you can mention in the chat would you able to do this exercise at home yesterday or not neetu ji is saying yes yes others can also respond if you were not able to do also that's fine you can respond some of Oh wow, Rani Kaur Ji says three sheets are written. Very nice, very nice. It is the exploration that is going to help us um, be able to see more and more. I am uh, exploring day by day. Mm-hmm. Uh, I I am uh, uh, making a uh, a like what what we are learning and uh, what is need to be practiced here. we know that uh, all these principles all these things or the thoughts which is very important to us we have to practice that things so that in, i am exploring day by day a uh, practicing the these rules or the means uh, uh, the harmony rules or uh, achievement rules say so uh, i have uh, uh, i am uh, i have concentrate yesterday uh, since morning that uh, i found three points here the three uh, special achievements that first of all i uh, felt need of self organization means i have to i have to uh, everybody uh, should organized yourself first for every activity and uh, next one is discipline see discipline around us as we know that we have learned from this that body is in harmony means body is, is a system which is uh, in the discipline means body works in discipline way mein karti hai but the self jo hai wo thoda sa in discipline ho jata hai kyunki hum we we are interfacing with the uh, peoples and the rest of the worlds so uh, we have to learn from the natures from our body and other persons who are in discipline and uh, uh, being a discipline uh, we can uh, uh, self organized and also we get a healthy body and healthy mind next third one is patience patience is very much required in us because uh we cannot get our uh, aspirations desires or anything we want to solve we need patience as we know that uh, a, a person who is a fat person and want to lose his weight he knows everything he studied very books he go to youtube channel matlab he sees and get every knowledge about how to lose weight but after getting very much knowledge and with consultation with the doctors and taking medicines he is still not uh, losing his weight it means there are there is a lacking of uh, self organized from him 
discipline from his side and patience from his side and he is not determined and he is not fully uh, uh, matlab jo kehte hain ki uh, achhi tarike se wo sab follow up nahi kar raha warna wo patla ho jayega uh, bas thank you uh, kuch ho to aap bata dena please thanks so this is what you are mentioning is what is important to you you are saying yeah. yes 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 after uhv2 like when we say about the body the health of the body right mm. we learnt in uhv2 that for the self to be in harmony in, with the body you know when the self has to have the feeling of self regulation yes so once the self has the right feeling the feeling of self regulation towards the body then it becomes a natural process that the body will be in good health because now the self will do whatever it takes to nurture the body to protect the body and to rightly utilize the body so this is what you were saying right yeah, so then yeah. then there will be health in the body yes so that is one thing true another thing that you mentioned about harmony or the organization self organization so you will notice that there is already a pattern within us that whenever we have a feeling that is not naturally acceptable we get disturbed so we need to be able to see that and we need to be able to have that harmony within us we'll notice that we can have the right feeling whenever we have the right feeling which is in line with our natural acceptance we are calm we are comfortable we are in harmony so some part of it you can say that really speaking that is the choice we have otherwise we keep getting disturbed so question was share three specific achievements that you may have noticed in yourself as an outcome of the exploration so meaning supposing if i get angry a lot and after uhv2 i found that i am less angry so like that if you can share some three specific points that some achievement that you think came to you after uhv2 so if you can elaborate on that that would be nice yes sir uh, uh, before it uh, uh, i uh, uh, make predictions on my assumption base now i am uh, thinking uh, i i want to know about it means i do not accept what it is actually means jo hamare ko bataya gaya that is a proposal here and mm-hmm. uh, मैं उसको बिल्कुल एजिटी जब एक्सेप्ट नहीं कर रहा पहले एक्सेप्ट कर लेता था जूम कर लेता नहीं राइट अंडरस्टैंडिंग दूसरी चीज से जब मेरे को जब ये समझ में आ जाता है तो सेकेंड थिंग मेरी ये हो जाती है कि मेरे को जो मैं सोचता था कि माइंड में अपनी तरफ से पहले से फियर था या कुछ भी इस प्रकार का डिस्टरबेंस हो जाता था छोटी 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 बातों को गुस्सा आ जाना एंग्रीनेस आ जाना दूसरे को समझ नहीं पाना अपने आप को हम अच्छे हैं यस आई एम गुड एंड आई हैव डन गुड बट दूसरे साइड से अगर कुछ भी इस प्रकार से इशू हो जाए हम सोचते हैं मैं डिसिप्लिन में हूँ एंड दी नेक्स्ट पर्सन इज नॉट इन डिसिप्लिन तो उसका रीजन वो देखते हैं तो हमें पहले से एज्यूम कर लेते हैं नहीं उसने mm-hmm. पहली बार आया सपोज मैं एड ऑफ दिपार्टमेंट भी हूँ तो फैकल्टी आया वो रोज तीन दिन से मतलब लगातार देख रहा हूँ वो हमेशा लेट आता है तो हमेशा कोई ना कोई एक्सक्यूज बनाता है तो फोर्थ डे भी मैंने यही एज्यूम कर लिया कि आज ये फिर बहाना बनना आएगा और रियली mm-hmm. really, मैंने उसकी फर्स्ट डे बात सुनी थी उसके बाद सेकेंड डे थर्ड डे नहीं सुनी लेकिन मैंने उसको फिफ्थ डे जो है मैंने उसकी बात सुनी समझा तो देन आई 
तब मुझे नोज हुआ कि उसके रियली प्रॉब्लम्स हैं तो मैंने उसको सॉर्ट आउट किया वो डेली लेट होता था क्योंकि घर से लेट चलता था और लेट उठता था लेट रात तक सोता था तो मैंने उसको ये प्रायोरिटी बेस पे कहा कि कॉलेज पे अगर आप टाइम से नहीं आओगे तो अब की बार नेक्स्ट टाइम क्योंकि मैंने यहाँ थोड़ा सा मैंने कहा अगली बार आप टाइम से नहीं आए तो गार्ड्स जो है मेन गेट से वो आपको अंदर नहीं आने देगा एक दिन आप घर वापस जाओगे तो दो बार नहीं आओगे इसलिए आप जर्ली अर्ली मॉर्निंग उठो आप छह बजे उठते हो तो साढ़े पांच बजे उठो साढ़े पांच बजे उठते हो तो पांच बजे उठो उठना पड़ेगा ये था सेकंड थिंग मींस दूसरे को भी कहा ये थोड़ा फोर्सली भी कहा लेकिन उनको थोड़ा अंडरस्टैंड हुआ तो उसके बाद वो आ रहे हैं वो अब वो टाइमली देखो पहले नहीं आ पाते अब वो टाइमली आ रहे तो क्या उन्हें लग गया कि अब उनको घुसने नहीं दिया जाएगा पहले वो सोचते थे कोई बात नहीं लेट हो तो एक डेढ़ घंटे का हाफ शॉर्ट लीव लगेगी चल जाएगा बट ऐसा नहीं हो सकता फिर इसके बाद इसमें कामली बोला बिल्कुल अच्छी तरीके मतलब प्यार से सब कुछ बोला कि ऐसे ऐसे कर गया होगा नेक्स्ट टाइम में आपको ऐसा मतलब एंग्री ने बिल्कुल गुस्सा नहीं किया मैंने मतलब क्योंकि मेरे जो बात बोलनी है साफ बोलो बिना गुस्सा हो गए मैं चिड़ा नहीं कुछ नहीं मैंने 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 समझाया कि नेक्स्ट टाइम में ऐसे होगा क्योंकि और लोग भी हैं डिसिप्लिन मेंटेन करना है आज एक फैकल्टी कर रहा है क्योंकि ये मेरे लिए एक हार्ड वर्क जैसे ही मेरे को एचओडी बनाया गया तो मुझे पहले से ही बता दिया गया था टॉप मैनेजमेंट ने कि ये तीन चार लोग हैं ये आपको मदन सिंह जी ये आपको डिस्टर्ब करेंगे इनको ये जो है लोकल्स हैं लोकल समझ गया आप मैंने कि उसी एरिया के लोग हैं तो ये अपनी मनमानी करते हैं ये अप्रोच से यहाँ जॉब पे लगे हुए तो ये इसलिए इनको थोड़ा सा आपने टैकल करना है तो वो वो थोड़ा सा एक पॉजिटिव माइंड उनके माइंड में सेट बैठ गया है अच्छी तरह क्योंकि उनको उनके माइंड में जो भी थी वो बात उनको क्लियर कर दी थी मैंने बताया उनको तो ये ये सॉर्ट आउट हुआ यहाँ पर हाँ हाँ और थर्ड थिंग जो जो मैं ऑर्गेनाइज डिसिप्लिन का ये था एक और चीज जो कॉलेज के अंदर भी मैंने कई चीज देखी थी कि आ, जो रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन बने हुए हमारे कॉलेज के है ना तो वो मेंटेन नहीं हो रहे थे और जब मेंटेन नहीं हो रहे तो सारा सारा डिस्टरबेंस हो गई होगा सारा वर्क लोड मतलब इधर उधर हो जाता सारी चेंजेस हो जाती है हम लोग हर कोई ये चाह रहा था कि जैसे चल रहा है वैसे चलता रहे मतलब एज्यूम कर रहे थे पहले एज इट वॉज गोइंग वैसे ही होता रहे नई चेंजेस उसके अंदर नहीं आए तो अब ये बताइए इफ हम इसी कॉन्सेप्ट में अगर चलते रहे जैसा चलता है वैसे चलता रहेगा तो प्रोग्रेस और डेवलपमेंट क्या चीजें हमें पता डे बाय डे साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी और चीजें चेंज पे चेंज होती जा रही है गुरु हम से हर तरीके से तो हम लोग अपने आप को क्यों नहीं चेंज करते अपने आप को डेवलप क्यों नहीं करते क्योंकि समस्या पहले थी है और रहेगी प्रॉब्लम्स इशू थे है और रहेगी तो हमें अपने आप को डेवलप करना पड़ेगा और हमें अपने आप से शुरुआत करनी पड़ेगी ये मैंने इसलिए समझा इनिशिएटिव लेना पड़ेगा मैं वेट आई कॉन्ट वेट कि कोई आए और वो मुझे आके बताए समझाए कि भाई मैं नॉलेज मेरे को आइडेंटिफाई कर लिया मैंने नो कर लिया है तो अब मेरा वर्क फर्ज बनता है कि मेरे एंड से जितनी मेरी कैपेसिटी है जितनी मेरी रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी है और जितनी मेरी पावर है उतना तो मैं उसको करूँ मैं अपना एरिया तो ठीक करूँ अपना आस का एरिया अपने आप को तो ठीक करूँ ये दूसरे के लिए मोटिवेशनल पॉइंट बन जाएगा और अगर मैं खुद नहीं करूंगा दूसरे कैसे करेंगे तो वो वो चीजें मैंने वहां करना शुरू कर दिया है अब उसके लिए मैं एक एक चीज और सोचता हूँ पहले मैं ये सोचता था मैम कि उनको बुरा लग गया मीन्स वर्थडे से अब मैं मैं नहीं सोचता हूं मुझे पता है दिस इज राइट तो राइट ये करना है तो करना है अब वो चेंजेस लानी पड़ेगी सब कुछ चेंजेस करना पड़ेगा मैं मैं सुबह नहीं उठ पाता था आपको बताऊं सिंपली सी बात मैं हमेशा खुद लेट हुआ करता था आज पांच बजे का अलार्म लगाता हूं मैं साढ़े चार बजे या पौने पांच बजे आराम से उठ जाता हूँ बिना अलार्म के उठता हूँ और हैप्पी रहता हूँ अभी देख लो आप मैं फर्स्ट सबसे पहले हैंड रेस कर देता हूँ मैं पांच बजे उठते ही मैं मीटिंग को जैसे ऑन कर देता हूँ तो वो चीजें हैं मतलब मेरे को अच्छा लगता है वेरी नाइस थैंक यू और रिगार्डिंग दिस फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन दीदी आई वाज 
I am. I was able to see yesterday that I am observing my thoughts and actions mm-hmm. on a regular basis now. Mm-hmm. Earlier, you know, earlier I was just you know, living just like that, but never observing myself, mm-hmm. never observing my actions and thoughts. So now I am able to see that whatever I am doing, whatever I am thinking, I am always aware of you know those things that I am thinking or doing. Mm-hmm. second thing is that in i know preconditioning is there so i thought that i am not motivated by preconditioning but now because i am observing myself i am seeing that yes preconditioning is still somewhere guiding me mm-hmm. there are certain things which you know on the basis of my preconditioning only i am guided so i have to work on that i have to see Uh, how this preconditioning is affecting many things even today in me. Give so some example can... for everybody to relate to <clears throat> mm. about the preconditioning. Others may yeah. also see the similarity in them. Yeah, like the punctuality thing. You know, I was my mother, my parents. They are very particular about time. Hmm. so i never missed school or college so this thing is very strongly imbibed in me that everybody should be punctual and mm-hmm. everybody can be punctual mm mm-hmm. so no can no one can be late mm-hmm. due to the public transport or this so if someone is late and i have this strong feeling that he had you know he did this on his intention or mm-hmm. i do not take this very easily so this thing mm-hmm. i i have to th- i think i have to work on this that if mm-hmm. someone is late so mm-hmm. so the third point here comes that i am able to see that i still doubt the intentions of the others mm-hmm. so yesterday i had a class fourth lecture and then after my class um, the other teacher she she did come to the class uh, i went to my cabin and when i came back the class was empty so the teacher was not there Mm-hmm. So i was like why she came here just when i left the class i asked the students where is ma'am they so they said ma'am unko kuch kaam tha to wo chali gayi then i called her that why you left this class you know 10 minutes mm-hmm. have passed so she mm-hmm. said ma'am i had some other work to do so i said no no you can't leave the class like this corridor mein to itna shor ho gaya mm-hmm. so she came you know she left whatever she was doing and she came back so after that i realized maybe she had some other work also maybe her hod i am from ec department she is from csc department so i doubted on the intention of that teacher that she left her class intentionally just to you know mm-hmm. those 10 20 minutes so i felt that my preconditioning and this you know doubt on intention of the other teacher this led to what i did yesterday Mm-hmm. Um, very nice see this exploration once you do this now you will be able to see were you disturbed or were you comfortable inside at that time yeah i was comfortable i mean generally you now i am not angry ha huh? generally no, i am not thinking it it of course you are comfortable when it was actually happening were you disturbed or were you comfortable when i saw the class empty that time i was disturbed yes because there was so, so much noise in the corridor in the classroom yeah so that disturbed mm. me yes so maybe then i also felt ki hame lagta hai ki class mein hamesha shant i mean the class should always be you know quiet and disciplined mm mm-hmm. so maybe the preconditioning is there that i think that classes should always be disciplined and quiet and there mm-hmm. should be no noise in the corridors mm-hmm. because there are other classes also and they are also disturbed mm So, nice. this is what i feel about this question one nice. and about the 10 key takeaways the it's a long answer so i will put <laughs> it briefly what are the takeaways you can give then others oh. can give okay so the first take takeaway that i was able to take is that i am not just body i am yes. self and body mm-hmm. so i was not aware of this before uhv and most of the time and effort was for bodily needs only mm-hmm. so i did when when i did my first assignment about the desires and 
then you know listed the list desires and how much percentage for body and for self then that time also i realized that oh, most of the effort is for bodily needs only so this thing was the first key, key take away from uhv that i have to work more about myself than body mm-hmm. then second is that the real meaning of happiness so earlier the meaning of happiness was different for me i think for everybody it is different before uhv but after uhv it is same for all the real meaning of happiness the state of being in harmony within mm-hmm. and it does not depend on others or on the outside world and it is always required in continuity this is the second thing that i have taken from mm-hmm. uhv mm-hmm. then this feeling of prosperity having more than the required mm-hmm. we always wish you know happy birthday may you have a you know, happy and prosperous birthday but the mm-hmm. real meaning of that happy and prosperous i could see only after uhv nice mm-hmm. yes. uh, to make my sex, uh, self exploration regularly i am doing one thing that more, maximum time i am conscious about my own observation observing my imagination i understand that sex self exploration is the process for right understanding and i am doing it um, intermittently uh, many times a day <coughs> and regarding achievements i can say that um, i have d- developed already the self confidence uh, more in comparison to uhb at the time of uhb 2 mm-hmm. and tackling power means uh, is solute problem comes and how to face it calmly that i have developed a uh, little during the uhb 2 and now i think i have that is some improvement in it really nice and uh, about the key takeaway uh, takeaways i can say that uh, self exploration is the process for right understanding mm-hmm. and every human being is in search of happiness and prosperity and continuity and uh, as a human being everybody should give more time for fulfillment of relationship rather than physical facility and i understand that sanskar plays an important role for transformation from animal consciousness to human consciousness and i i also see that the body is an instrument for the self and uh, i give importance to family and that is the best unit for harmony and uh, the foundation to i'm sorry i couldn't get you what did you just family? say family family uh-huh. yes basic unit of harmony so hmm. if you want to uh, um, feel the harmony then in that case uh, we must concentrate on the our family that is the basic unit and the foundational value in relationship is nothing but trust so next uh, right evaluation of human being is nothing but playing paying respect so no over evaluation or under evaluation but right evaluation mm-hmm. and the maximum content of respect is that to have feeling of the the other is similar to me so the my, my counterpart is not no less than me similar to me and uh, the individual goal of human being is to have a right understanding and right feeling which will lead to happiness in continuity so these are some of the take up mm-hmm. i have very nice that you have been you have diligently first of all done this exercise this assignment for yourself and that you have written down all these key takeaways exactly. i know it does take little time uh, to get back to you know reflecting on the proposals in uhv2 so it's really credible that you went through this and of course in your last uh, time with the 
uh, in the last exercise also there were many sharings from you so to, just one uh, small thing i just wanted to mention that when you said uh, respect um the minimum content of respect is that we see the similarity the maximum becomes where we see our complementarity also yes yes yeah so very nice i think uh, we are all exploring and that makes all the difference in our further you know as we go further and further we will find many points that even now today what we think we have understood may be part of some assumption and then as we go further we are able to clarify better and better for ourselves and that matters yes. because it improves our quality. so very i never felt that i never thought that i would be able to sit through the morning session because morning is a quite hectic for me i have to leave the house by 6:10 uh, and 6:50 to catch the bus so the prime time is 5:30 to 6:30 is a prime time mm-hmm. i really wanted to break that which is an unwanted uh, habit i i felt so so once mm-hmm. i after i attended the vhv2 and uh, i really thought that when everybody was talking you know about the timings and all these things normally i would also go into i would also fall into that stream of telling that it's difficult in the morning so i would have mm-hmm. said no to it but mm-hmm. what i did was let me let me let me take a try let me let me do it and see mm-hmm. let me see if it's possible maybe if it's possible then i can continue and i can tell it tell it across to the others mm-hmm. so that was a strong feeling which i developed after my uhv 2 uh, mm-hmm. and the whole of the uhv 2 is i would say that um, i had to my uhv 2 is uh, the first time when i did i had certain things there was some emergency and i wasn't able to attend for a day so that is why my attendance dropped down and i couldn't complete my uhv2 mm-hmm. i the very first same day when i got the uh, uh, i mean the result the very same day i enrolled for the next set of uh, the next uh, uhv2 nice mm-hmm. uh, the very same day the mm-hmm. moment i got i, I enrolled it. and i got registered and the whole that was a transformation i would say until then whatever in my uhv 1 or 2 though i would say that i am a kind of person i don't get agitated very easily or i do get along with people quite well and all those things but maybe that was something that i had a kind of a suppressed feeling i maybe like i always wanted to uh, get a feeling to others that i'm there for you or like uh, you can think of me and all those things but at times i also keep uh, there was a kind of a disharmony also because certain things which happens we don't like but what so happens is i try to convince myself in in doing certain things and the uhv to the second time which i which i attended it was totally that i was there in the content with each and every uh, i mean content that was delivered i was there i totally dedicated and i felt that the content is really awesome and every each and every individual should definitely give time to listen to this and uh, the third one is what i felt is like recently like two three days back uh, when one of my uh, colleague happened to say that one of my saree that was wearing uh, like that was a gifted one this is kind of an example i don't i i think i can can i continue yeah yeah okay. yeah so i was wearing that and it was a gift given by somebody and uh, i have some like uh, people when they immediately when they saw that they said that this is not your kind of sari i don't feel that this is your kind uh, somebody has given yeah i said yeah this was gifted by your person so immediately there was a colleague we, we usually mock and we have uh, we spend time together we pull people's leg and all those happen so one of the colleagues said you know this is a, this similar one i got it in a different color i had uh, gifted to one of my maid immediately there was a thought you know like normally immediately oh my god i am wearing a similar kind of sari what you have gifted to that person that that thought it came for a just for a small speck of time and then immediately you know i shifted myself and i told 
so what is there it doesn't mean that uh, somebody else lower to me shouldn't wear this and i started telling myself what if somebody higher to me wears this or somebody says that i saw a similar one wearing by another person who is of a higher cadre of me then i would have taken that with much of uh, happiness but the same thing you know like when you say that somebody lower to you there is a kind of a maybe like it's a sensation i would say you feel a little uneasy but mm-hmm. i try to change my thought over there and i felt that i'm not supposed to think in that way it is something that every individual is the same and it is something like uh, each are in i mean each and everyone are equal so i don't have to have that thought in mind so what if somebody wears a similar kind it it might be a very very uh, small or very silly example also but that was something uh, I mean, no it's not a silly no. example in fact we'll notice that you know today when we say higher and lower Mm-hmm. Yeah. A lot of times we are referring to physical facility. Exactly. Right? Somebody who Next. has physical facility more than us, we say they are higher. Somebody exactly. who has physical facility less than us, we say they are lower. But is exactly. that you know th- that is also a preconditioning that is very strong in our growing up throughout. You know, our focus is on largely on physical facility. Of course, if we are assuming ourselves to be body, then we will try to get things through the body only. And so, all of that which is linked to the body, we give more importance to that. Like in the previous yes. sharing, we were hearing, no, that yeah, yeah, uh, the needs of the self and the needs of the body, and we are our effort is on the body, but our need is in the self. <laughs> exactly. So that clarity when we get. and that shift starts happening then it doesn't um you know we are we become more it mm. becomes simple for us living becomes yeah. simple now you don't have to think about who is coming to this function so therefore Ex- yes have i worn this these clothes before in front of them should i wear them again all those questions die down exactly because it becomes very simple and when you are able to uh, connect with the natural acceptance there's a new confidence and stability you find that nice there is a kind of a confidence that is your building and yes. you're not enforcing others also when i see the others also like when they are i mean the uhv content doesn't reach every individual in the same way uh, mm-hmm. like uh, maybe in my own uh, college also i see some of the people just taking up the uh, uhv content just like that you know like it is something that you have to be with the content only then to get uh, the exact uh, i mean uh, whatever the knowledge or the exact uh, feeling that you get out of it but some people just do it but earlier there was a kind of uh, i used to feel a kind of why are people doing so but now i feel that maybe we need to give some time for them yes so let them let them mix we don't have to go and force them to do things Uh, True. Let them. Let maybe we'll help them to explore. Let's be complementary to the others. So yeah, and our focus is. can be on us. Yes, because <laughs> the moment we are looking at the other again, we are shifting our attention outside. Exactly. And we may be ignoring ourselves. Our, you know, not noticing what is going on within us. Yeah. yeah. thank you if we can be uh, crisp on the take of, on the achievements like anything specific any achievement you have noticed after the uhv 2 like for instance you know like earlier it was mentioned anger got reduced or something so if we can do that uh, crisply that will be nicer because many hands are raised yes yogita ji good morning ma'am good morning uh ma'am yesterday i took off i was at home only okay and you gave this assignment so uh, since last few days i was really exploring myself so yesterday we had we in the sense me and my husband had a discussion and we took out time to discuss okay ma'am so mm-hmm. what i really felt that i was not getting sleep since last few days or i would say uh, for a month i was not getting proper sleep 
the reason was that i was evaluating papers and too much of time i was giving the screen time was too much right ma'am so you know um i really realized after a long discussion uh, to explore you know what is wrong with me why i'm not everything is i feel like blocked okay so yesterday we had discussion even he took out we have very good bonding we discuss because he is a psychologist so of course but because lack of time is there we are running after physical facility a lot unknowingly for us love is very important but i really felt and if in fact he also felt i told a lot of problems he is very cool but you know for me it is like very i'm very sensitive but uh, yesterday after discussion we felt that we are running after physical facility a lot why because i'm evaluating papers and i'm getting money for that okay so ma'am having i'm having everything yet unhappy i felt deprived you know uh, there is something which is missing there is something which is missing and we realized that you know too much of screen uh, you know uh, i am taking time for you know all these things for evaluating papers too much of you know money when a lot of money very good figure we see in our account we feel good okay but these were my papers only so i have to correct it then i realized yesterday i got one proposal that you know you have to correct other papers and those who are interested they can so i got called from my hod that you know uh, these are the papers around 400 papers are there and very good amount obviously if you calculate very good amount will come so i left that proposal ma'am why and i'm satisfied also so that i can give we realize that we lack time we will go for a holiday and we want to spend time for each other so you know i was satisfied you know that you know um, investing for physical facility and you know and we are not giving time for the fulfillment in the relationship this is something very less right uh, mm. we are we are like i'm cooking food we are eating together also but we are not talking about ourselves we are not talking about our relationship there is nothing like you know we are laughing we are enjoying or there is no wow moment though we are not fighting also but there is something which was lacking we realize that and there is uh, like uhv every time you know in human values i have been told this that there is always this word coming there is something buzzing in my mind so this is helping me to explore so we came up with this solution that will go for holiday secondly i gave the papers to uh, my friend or i would say actually actually gave it to my friend the one who is going to sit beside me and correct the paper and she will be getting very good amount but it is okay for me i mean i have no problem if she gets that amount also i'm okay i'm satisfied i slept very well yesterday night nice very nice yeah <laughs> and thirdly you know when i i'm very sensitive so if um, he used to tell me be a good listener be a good listener i used to talk a lot you know in between also you know why did you say me this why did you tell me this you are telling me to change my nature you know all these things i used to say but yesterday i realized that i had discussion instead of arguments so you know i have right feeling to be calm this is also what i understood very uh, nice one last thing i would say ma'am that uh, i have attended everybody has attended so many workshops i have also attended so many workshop and uh, but like this workshop where we are, people are like 200 people are coming in the morning they want to talk you know uh, i mean people are in requirement of this like anything because uh, when i sleep i don't think that i have to get up and cook food or i have to go i have to run i'm thinking that no no i have to wake up for uhv i have to have answer to this question you know that is also a very good achievement and uh, one more thing ma'am that is um, i failed in uhv 2 to get the certificate now this time okay so mm -hmm. but immediately i registered which is there on 10th even i mm -hmm. i feel that there is something which i am missing i want to hear it again so it is also not a, a like something i lost uhv 1 also i attended for two times just to get certificate but third time i thought what is there you know why i am not getting certificate why my other friends got and they got it just like that you know i really felt but uhv first when i did for the th third time i heard each and everything and i loved it so much 
and i got the uh, you know uh, certificate also when i understood mm-hmm. i got the certificate yes nice. which we too immediately i uh, you know registered maybe you know few things i could not uh, you know uh, understand there are queries in my mind maybe i'm not applicable right that time but now i again want to go with uhb2 on 10th of april and i want to get to understand more ma'am very so nice the exploration mm-hmm. ma'am thank you very good morning ma'am very good morning to one and all a uh, wonderful experience uh, i had it with the uh, uhv second first thing what i have explored in myself was the harmony uh, definitely it was a very good thing which i have done it and with this particular thing lot of outcome and achievement i have got it in my circle as well as in the work place also and the second thing was the happiness not only to me to others also i brought it in my organization and the third thing what self exploration which i have done was the mutual understanding in a working place we have to have a mutual understanding without that we cannot uh, explore we cannot achieve something so this is the three achievements which i have explored in myself and i have got a very good uh, outcomes also after completing my uhv second ma'am so um the last thing that you mentioned could you just elaborate on that mutual okay. understanding mutual understanding means i think uh, in the morning we were having a one uh, colleague he was saying that uh, he was uh, just talking about the late coming of his colleague so the same thing happening is in almost in all organization we have to sit together definitely yeah. we are also in a very senior position we have to sit with the juniors we have to make them realize and we have also to compromise in many things then only the things works out so i also made a little bit of mutual understanding that he was not able to come because of the schedule in the traffic he is staying little bit far off in a big city so i have to compromise i have to reshift his class from a first to second then this way we have had a very good uh, you know uh, good uh, things working it out oh, and then the benefit was also to me to the student and to him also and to the organization also so this like, really gave me after the uhv second mutual understanding that we have to understand other also their problems also and then only we can come to some amicable solution ma'am so these mm-hmm. are the good self exploration which i have brought it on the book of today's class then talking about the right 10 key take away shall i explore those things also in front of all the you can just mention two or three of them then we can okay very good ma'am thank you ma'am self exploration in us definitely we have been our management faculties we have got number of the tools in the self exploration part also we have got a sort tools strength weakness opportunity this is also the uh is giving us an edges to work more in this particular area then the second one was that we realized that human being is a coexistence of self and body means definitely two things are been mitigated each other and we have to understand that we are not only one it's a uh, uh, coexistence has been there and that has to be uh concluded with our body also if our body does not respond to that environment then our coexistence is not there number one number two the other part also if other people are not feeling well then in that case also we have to realize that uh, coexistence is not possible we have to take their comfort also so these are the two things which we the two take away which i have got it from the uhv second ma'am yeah i would just mention that you know the coexistence actually in the existence all of existence the coexistence is already there we don't have to make it but just that we need to understand it so even yes, our coexistence with the body or our coexistence with other units it is already there but lot of times we are not able to see it yes ma'am yes you are totally right so we yes. need to make effort for that very nice thank you for your sharing thank you ma'am thanks a lot for giving precious time thank you namaste so first of all uh, i would like to share briefly uh, the efforts made uh, for self uh, exploration so mm-hmm. the three specific uh, achievements what i uh, am, uh, what i have got and what i have been getting <laughs> 
so mm-hmm. that is uh, it has increased me my verification with the self suppose if anything happens uh i am trying to take it as a proposal and uh, uh, i i am trying to verify with my natural acceptance that, ha- that that is really a very good improvement madam in philosophy we study a lot but in practical aspect we don't try a lot but your uhv is giving us chance to practice in life that is a very good uh, change what i have observed that is uh, with the natural acceptance first and number 2 second you achievement is that you could uh, physically see ah yeah yeah. 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 yeah yeah madam okay. actually uh, in the beginning uh, chart box why i have written partly because uh, the whole 10 key take takeaways i have had but i have not uh, noted down in a journal that's why i had uh, mentioned partly mm-hmm. uh, and the natural acceptance point of view the first one is not completely i have achieved because i have been trying sometimes i am unable to verify sometimes uh, uh, i am completely uh, able to verify uh, uh, so that's why for example it will be better for others also to relate to it no ha 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 madam because uh, you have mentioned uh, to explain uh, briefly that's why i am telling <laughs> uh-huh. otherwise i could have explained uh, in detail also uh the different incidents uh, in the family in my college uh, the many uh, uh, situations where uh, 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 i have been observing uh, those as uh, uh, the proposals suppose if uh, my missus says something uh, mm-hmm. i have been trying to take it as proposal my children say i am trying to take uh, them as proposals i am i am trying to uh verify with my natural acceptance and the same thing i am trying to tell them also to learn this is the thing what we have to understand uh, then we can live very happily in the family because it is the family where we spend uh, uh, together suppose mm-hmm. if something happens uh, the outside person uh, uh, may uh, leave us suppose if some mistake we do uh, the outside person may leave us but uh, the family members won't leave us they excuse and they live together so uh, f- family is the first place we have to implement uh, then we can try to implement uh, in the society that's what i have uh, been telling my uh, family members also and uh, my son uh, my missus are trying and uh, i have achieved that uh, i mean i have been achieving i can say because I, we have not we cannot achieve completely until uh, uh, the whole uh, picture we uh, we understand that is the first one madam second one i am trying to understand uh, uh, i am not merely a body i am a combination of self and body mm-hmm. actually previously also i have had it uh, but now i am uh, uh, practicing more nice that is, that is the second one uh, third one is uh, suppose if any uh, something happens uh, that is only a triggering point that uh, should not uh, uh, disturb my uh, stability my happiness uh that's what i i have observed the third one the three mm-hmm. specific specific achievements many achievements i have been observing from your uhv however you have told us to <laughs> explain the three specific achievements uh, that's why i have been uh, telling these three yeah because then, yes, there is uh, we are little short on time many people ah that's why madam many people are uh, actually what uh, i would suggest for everybody is if you make a journal specifically for this purpose yes madam i have made uh, you can write down even more achievements whatever you think uh, yeah yeah madam yeah madam yes yes exactly yes madam mentioned that we are able to wake up when we didn't think we could wake up that is an achievement ah yeah, yeah yes madam really madam so like that you can write down all your achievements that yes, you feel yes. that you know the changes that you have been able to see in yourself yeah madam which we do and of course for the sharing part because there are many sharings uh, to we want to go through so yeah. that's to be asked to be brief yeah yeah madam the and regarding uh, uh, all these things uh, uh, what my guru says uh, paramas yogananda uh, self introspection is uh, very essential the same thing you are telling i am very happy because self introspection uh, involves uh, impartiality suppose any mistake also we do with self introspection we don't uh, blindly support ourselves 
that uh, we are right and the others are wrong so the self introspection uh, tells us uh, where the wrong is but here the same thing is uh, explained in uh, uh, a different way uh, uh, to understand where the truth lies so yeah. everybody is same uh, so how can everybody same because everybody uh, god has given the equal potential to all but the utilization and the awareness is different that if we if that point if we understand just uh, request you to be brief many uh, yeah madam 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 thank you and uh, some key takeaways uh, how to do is uh, technical education and uh, what to do is value education that is the first uh, key takeaway from uhp2 and uh, second is uh, basic human aspiration is continuous happiness and prosperity and uh, third key takeaway key takeaway what i have observed is uh, uh, the gap from what i want to be to what i am is to be filled and uh, the order is uh, first is right understanding in the self second is relationship with human being and third is uh, physical facility uh, is to be given and uh, uh, fifth one is human being is a coexistence of self and body and sixth one is distinguishing between uh, the needs of the self and body and uh, seventh one is uh, happiness is instead of being within not from outside and uh, eighth one is program for happiness uh, ninth one is harmony in the self uh, family society nature and existence uh, and the tenth one what i uh, uh, observed the key takeaway uh, this uhv2 is strengthening the internal dialogue that i feel very happy madam thank you madam uh, good morning ma'am yesterday uh, i have seen that uh, actually i visited a hospital so due to my pre conditioning i have estimated the doctor's intentions wrongly before uh, just i entered into the i entered and attended the doctor i have uh, previous very bad experience due to the doctors when i when i previously i have got uh, typhoid but a doctor gave me uh, gave me medicine for malaria so due to that i have suffered one year and i couldn't attend my uh, classes at that time so due to that pre conditioning whenever i used to visit any hospital so i used to first doubt about the doctor intentions whether really they are going to give me a correct medicine or not or they are really uh, uh, checking correctly or not hmm. so yesterday also i have did the same pre, uh, pre conditioning that this doctor may not be able to see me properly but after uh, visiting the doctor and talking to her i realized that i am completely misunderstood her she is uh, very good uh, in her profession she is to take a very uh, carefully about all the so she is to listen me very patiently and she took it properly so due to this pre conditioning of previous my experiences i have uh, wrongly taking all the persons of medical field so this i observed uh, i used to doubt on uh, my children intentions means uh, before whenever he is to do any mistake or anything wrong i used to scold him and tell him you don't do like this you have to do like this and, and uh, always used to scold him and tell him after attending uhv2 i have seen uh, i have Uh, reduced my uh, uh, i mean i have reduced my anger and uh, telling him politely most of the time but sometimes he is very uh, uh, he is only 3 years old so sometimes he don't listen to me but even then i am being patient and calm but not completely i can say that i have transformed but i am trying myself to reduce my anger more and tell him uh, in a proper and calm manner after attending uhv2 only i am uh, realizing myself that i am doing wrong he may he may be doing wrong but he cannot the he don't have that much competence in him but mm-hmm. as a elder person i i should have more competence and understanding towards his actions and then i have to react this this is the second uh, yeah but i have seen from the self exploration after attending uhv2 ma'am nice 